Yo, what's going on guys? Sorry if I sound a little weird in this video. I had the mic settings all messed up, so it was a little bit quiet. And I was really awake during this video, and I'm kind of tired editing it, so sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, your FPS will double from this video, so enjoy and slap the fucking like button, boys. Slap the sub button too. Beat that shit up. Enjoy the video. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get a lot of FPS. I guarantee you, you'll get at least double the FPS if you get below 400. Okay, so it starts off, let's, we could start off with my video settings. A lot of Minecraft videos to get FPS, just go through their video settings and that's it. But it's more than that. But the video settings are very important steps. Make sure you copy my video settings exactly how they are. I'm on version 1.7.10 right now. I can give you guys updated ones for version 1.16 and 1.8 as well. The 1.7 and 1.8 ones are pretty much the same thing. So copy this if you're on 1.8. You don't need to copy this one or this one. These are personal preference. All right, let's go to quality. Make sure this is all like this. Custom sky on. If you like your texture pack sky, you can turn this off for more FPS if you don't like your sky, but I like the sky. Details. These are the really important settings that are underlooked a lot. Smooth FPS being off alone doubled my FPS. Animation. These are the only ones that I mess with usually, but a few others are off. That's it for the MC settings. A lot of people will just wrap up the video right there, but there's a little bit more that goes into it. I'm not going to get too, too into depth about it, but there's this Discord server I can link you guys. It's called Hone. It'll be in the description below. You can optimize your computer to up your FPS a lot. Someone in that Discord server got 70,000 FPS, and that's not a joke, and it's not faked. You can't fake FPS on Lunar Client, and he was on Lunar Client. Of course, he's looking at the sky all zoomed in like this, but I mean, shoot, if you do that, look how much FPS I could get. 3,000 right there, just like that. So here's some settings that are really under. On your Lunar Client, go ahead and hit the right shift key. Go to your settings here, and go to your settings here. Of course, your FPS is lower in this menu. I'm not sure why, but this is not important yet. Then go to the Performance tab. Fulbright helps your FPS a lot, but I like it off. I get enough FPS that that doesn't matter to me. The Enchantment Glint, if you're doing something where you don't need stuff to be enchanted, this will help your FPS a few hundred as well. Lazy Chunk Loading. This is the most important setting in Lunar Client. Off is how Vanilla Minecraft has it, is why it says Vanilla, right? I keep mine on lowest during practice, and high or highest during HCF. Because what it does is the chunks lazily load. As you can see... Over, up over there is not loading, but if I go ahead and look at it and walk a little closer, it's gonna, it's gonna load the areas I look at before the areas I don't look at, you know what I mean? So make sure you copy my Lunar Client settings right here. You can do this by choice. But if you turn off the enchantment glint, like for practice, for example, you don't need it at all. By the way, render distance is important. Four is what you should have it for practice. Eight is what you should have it for anything else. And 12 if you're on high pixel, because high pixel supports 12 render distance anything over it it won't just go it just won't go past you could set it to 32 render distance on high pixel it would only register 12 of those chunks but for practice you don't need more than four so i'm going to go ahead and set mine to four considering i'm on practice and you can also use overlays to help your fps and make your game just look better in general i got this overlay from andrea and she got it from yuki which is, this is a pretty good one it's called yuki's overlay there's one with and without a crosshair you guys know my crosshair is super small anyway so yeah i mean if your fps is really down bad you could be using no armor overlays like i have right here these overlays help your FPS a lot because it doesn't even have to render in the armor. Rendering in less stuff is just less work that your PC needs to do and can put towards giving you more frames. And high FPS can help your videos look better, it can help your inputs happen faster, and it can just help you be a better player overall. You can see in this arena, I'm getting 2,500 FPS, and that's a lot. Of course, it doesn't look great, but you just wait. With the dynamic light settings I have, look at that looks really good. When he's on fire, uh, it lights up around him, and it's dark when he's not around. We are wrecking this guy, though. Wow, I had two CPS to met the end there, and he still died. But yeah, you guys can see my frames are really good. Oh, not in front of that. Rendering those hurts your FPS a lot. So the second I look away from it, my FPS should get much better. You see over here, we're getting double the FPS. That's going to be all for this video, guys. If you guys want my render and recording settings, let me know so your videos can look like this. You see how smooth it looks when I'm turning and stuff? If I were to flick to the side, for example, like a side pro or something like that or a quick pot, you know, just fighting and just turn around to heal up. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like, comment to let me know if you want my OBS and render settings. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. You gotta hit the notification bell if you subscribe, you know? All right, we're, we're on the way to 2K, guys. We almost have 2K subscribers. That's awesome. We're about to hit 1.5, so if you guys can hit the subscribe button, that'd be much appreciated. Have a great day, guys.